It's a very rainy Tuesday, but we're going to go to Five Oaks Farm Kitchen. We're going to stop in Ogle Brothers General Store and end the night at Cruise Farms. It is 3.15 p.m. We're hoping to get the lunchtime special at Five Oaks. Welcome to Lolly Land, guys. We are at Five Oaks Farm Kitchen. Let's go eat some lunch. It's in the rain. We're here. We made it for lunch. Bench. It's huge in here. There's a whole second floor. And it's very country. Yes. Very down the farm. You ready to eat? Yes. We're still here for the lunch time from the 12 to 4. It's like going on 3.30. One of us might get the fried chicken. One of us might get the pot roast. Mikey might get the meatloaf. I mean, it's not like there's three people here. I feel like this is one of the restaurants here that's crowded no matter what time of day you come here. Yeah. So even on a rainy Tuesday afternoon at 3.30, it's pretty crowded, yeah. We'll show you what we can. I don't want to be in people's faces, but I'll show you what I can when we walk out. <laughs> they have the mix here for the Aretha Frankenstein pancake mix, which was also the same pancake mix they used for the griddle cakes over at Crockett's breakfast camp, which we went to on our first morning. You think we should get some pancake mix to take home? Yeah. I mean, one in the south. So I ordered the pot roast. Mikey's like, no, yours comes over mashed potatoes. But I ordered a side of mashed potatoes. And then I looked at the menu again after I ordered double mashed potatoes. That was all part of my, my secret plan. Part of his secret plan. So I don't know how many mashed potatoes I'm getting, but all hail the mashed potato. They gotta be good here. So, we both got ice waters, but they have famous lemonade here. It's called Blanche's, and you get one free refill. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try the lemonade. It's here. Okay, so I did not get an extra set of mashed potatoes, thank goodness. Here's my green beans. I'm interested to try, interested to try like southern green beans. Here is my fried chicken with my side of mashed potatoes, my biscuit. I got some corn on the cob. And I got the gravy on the side. I'm gonna put it on my mashed potatoes, but I just wanna taste them as is first. But that fried chicken, oh man, it's got a little hint of Tennessee hot sauce. So let's dig in. Don't touch my biscuit. Get off my biscuit. Get off, get off my biscuit. Hands off the biscuit. So mine has like the Texas toast underneath. Then the mashed potatoes and gravy, and then the pot roast. It looks heavenly. Okay, I like the chicken. I don't taste the, like, the hotness at all, which is good. I was afraid it was gonna be like a little bit too, maybe not too hot, but just like, you know, I wanted plain chicken. But the flavor is very good. It could be a little warmer. Oh no. It's okay. Though. The green beans have a major smoky taste to them which took me by surprise, but they are absolutely delicious. Oh my God. And this is delicious. Get the pot roast. Got the lemonade, guys. It's called Blanche's Lemonade. You get one free refill on it, too. It's delicious. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. It's refreshing, right? Yeah. Well, I don't need a box to go. Neither do I. <laughs> You really liked the chicken overall, didn't the you? It was super good. Like I said, uh, it was a little like weird because I thought I, I dislike hot sauce or anything hot, but I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm in the mood for But it's hot subtle. Chicken, but it's very, very subtle. Yeah, it's not, it's not hot at all. Like tender, juicy, not dry at all. Lots of moisture throughout the, the breast of the chicken and just. just moisture like, throughout the breast, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here. <laughs> 
My pot roast was phenomenal. The only reason I left a green bean behind just because it fell on the table. Otherwise, those would be gone as well. How was the corn on the cob? Oh my god. Good corn on the cob? Tastes like Jersey corn back home. Okay. I'm like searching through my pieces of chicken because I don't want to stop eating it. And I'm trying to find any little piece of chicken that I could finish with, but but I'm pretty sure it's all gone. Which is sad. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? That's all that matters. I would order another round of bacon. No, I would not allow him to if do that. If you weren't here to stop me, I would do it. I would do it. And our server was awesome here. And this whole experience was great. I love these huge benches that we're sitting. Like, it's like a big picnic table, pretty much. Um, very comfortable, very comfortable. Really bad lighting, but very comfortable. So now, in this same complex is Cruise Farm Dairy and also the Oval uh, Brothers General Store. So we're gonna go visit both of them. Both of them are open till 9 p.m. along with Five Oaks. They're open till 9 p.m. as well. So we got plenty of time. It's just coming up on dinner time now. So we're gonna go check out Cruise Farm Dairy and the Oval Brothers General Store. This table next to us just left and look how nice they stack their dishes and everything, right? We didn't do that. I mean, we didn't make a mess. Though. You made a mess. Are you so happy? So that's Mary Blanche that made your lemonade, babe. That's, thank you I for mean, the lemonade, Mary Blanche. I mean, she's dead, but... I mean, it was excellent, though. Wait, so he's Mr. Ogle. Yes. Her wife made the lemon. his wife made the lemonade. Thanks, guys. Yep. We really enjoyed Five Oaks Farm Kitchen. I wish we had time to come back here for breakfast. I heard they have amazing breakfast. Same owners as Crockett's and some other places around town. Glad we tried it. You were very, very, like, in love with your chicken. I was, was like, <laughs> Yes, the entire meal was great. Uh, corn on the cob, mashed potatoes, the biscuit, the gravy, the Blanche's lemonade, everything was awesome. I would come back again. I would come back and get the same exact meal yes. that I just ate. That it was so good. We might. We might. We might. But well, now it's time to go to Cruise Farm Dairy and Ogle Brothers General Store. I think we're going to get Cruise Farm Dairy first so we can walk it off at the general store. Yep. So let's go see what's next in the rain. Let's go check it out. If you don't know, I don't do rain. This sucks. Off we go in the rain. Without these nice fires going out here, that'll help warm me up a little bit. Put my hand through it. No, it says caution hot. Don't oh. be touching it. But I'm cold. Well guys, it's a very rainy day. We stayed in all day and today, wow, and today, can I say it today again? Focus. Okay. Alright, <laughs> right, so that was a delicious oat. <laughs> <laughs>